All right, it'll be Carolina Panthers review volume 38 slash Jacksonville Jaguars preview. The Green Bay Packers beat the Carolina Panthers 30-23. to They were a better team. I mean, look at the third quarter. I'm looking at the box scores on ESPN.com between Packers and Panthers. They took over in the second half, especially in the third quarter. And um, they made Cam Newton miserable, despite the fact that he put up monster numbers again for the second straight week. But um, they forced turnovers. They stopped the run. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was superb once again. So big ups to the Green Bay Packers. I'm not going to bad mouth them. No. Even though the Packers defense didn't give up 34 points, but uh, they, they held Carolina to 23, so that's good. As for the Carolina Panthers, there are some good things with uh, what I saw. Cam Newton, I mean, um, Steve Smith, the defensive line, and um, linebackers. I mean, they're doing their thing, but they just ran into a better team. And there ain't no shame of losing to the Green Bay Packers. Period. But you cannot turn the ball over four times and expect to win. And Cam Newton has to make better decisions. I mean, this is the second straight week where he thrown the ball to double coverage or triple coverage. And he was throwing both passes were tended to Steve Smith and have been picked off. He's going to have to make better decisions. And for some reason, they went away from the tight ends and is just throwing the ball to wide receivers exclusively. And you got to spread the ball around. I mean, Steve Smith is not always going to be open. You got to hit Brandon LaFell. They should have threw the ball to him more. Jeremy Shockey or Greg Olson. I mean, they're getting the running backs involved with D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart, which I'm going to get to the running game in a few minutes. I mean the, the offensive line did good. I mean they they protected him, but but they gave up four sacks. So that's the bad part there. And they did not open holes for the running game, which I'm gonna get to right now. I mean seventy one rushing yards. I mean Williams and Stewart gotta get it together. I mean, they're facing the Jacksonville Jaguars next Sunday. And <laughs> Their rush defense, they're in the top five, let alone ranked fourth, according to NFL.com. So, <laughs> they're going to be ready for them. They will be ready. And you're asking the defense, Carolina Panthers defense, to hold the Green Bay Packers, which they held them to three straight field goals. So, that's fine by me, but... <sighs> You can't turn, like I said, you can't turn the ball over four times and put the defense in the bind, like you know, just tell them, hey, you gotta go out and stop them every single time. But they only held them to one touchdown in the third quarter. So, but the secondaries for the Carolina Panthers is just terrible, just straight up terrible. I mean, it's it's the second straight game that they gave up. What was it? Four 49 yard reception touchdowns or longer. So they got to clean that up. They have to clean that up. Um, as for the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers preview, it goes a little something like this The series is tied one apiece. They only played each other twice since 2001. September 7, 2003, Carolina won. In a thriller for 24-23. Everyone knows that. The last time the Panthers and Jags played each other was December 9th, four years ago. Jacksonville just absolutely destroyed Carolina 37-6. So, for the Jaguars to win their second game of the season, they got to take away the passing game for the Panthers offense and put and, um, put the ball in the hands of double trouble. As for the Jags' offense and the Panthers' 
defense, which that's going to come down to that. I don't know who's going to be the quarterback because I heard that uh, Luke McNown looked really bad in the loss yesterday against the New York Jets. So maybe it'll be Blaine Gabbitt. <clears throat> Who knows? As for the Carolina Panthers, in order to get their first win of the season, they got to run the football. I don't, I don't care if their rush defense was is ranked fourth. They, they got to find a way to run the ball first, then throw the ball second, take some pressure off of Cam Newton. The defense for the Carolina Panthers, the secondaries has to play better. I mean, do some good things. So. I don't know, just try to not give up, you know, long yardage gains or touchdowns. Um, as for the um, final score, I'm not going to give you the final score. This is a toss-up game between the Jags and the Panthers. So, I'll say Carolina win their first game of the season, and it will be competitive. So, with that, I'm throwing the peace sign. I'm out.